Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. Well, today you join us, Fireman Sam, with his dog radar and Peppa Pig are getting some sodas in the shop. It's a hot day and they're thirsty. When all of a sudden, the master alarm was sounded. Great fires of London, said Fireman Sam. That's the main alarm. It's an emergency. Back to Jupiter, quick. Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig ran outside and they just could not believe what they saw. Almost every building was on fire in Ponty Pandy. Quick, I've got to get to Jupiter. Peppa Pig ran off to get her fire engine to help. Every building in Ponty Pandy was alight. This is what became known as the Great Fire of Ponty Pandy, a fire that everybody talks about. But while Fireman Sam and Peppa Pig went to get their fire engines, the fire continued to burn and poor Rubble was so scared. Oh, this is so bad, said Rubble. Every building is alight. I just can't believe it. All of this was started by just one firework. But in the distance, we could hear the fire engines. They're coming to the rescue of the folk of Ponty Pandy. Thank goodness. Come on, man. Let's go. Here comes Fireman Sam Fire. now. Peppa Pig wasn't far behind with her special fire engine. Here comes Nurse Flood, followed by Station Officer Steel on Bessie. We need every emergency vehicle for a fire of this size. Here's Elvis and Tom Thomas now with Venus. All the vehicles are being positioned, ready to put out all of the fires. My goodness, no one has ever seen anything like this great fire of Ponty Pandy. Sam gets the hose out of Jupiter and makes a start on the first building. First Sam checks if anyone's in the building, but luckily everyone's got out safely. It's just a question of getting those fires out. Good, that's the first flames dealt with. That's the second window with the fire put out. Now just for the last one. Excellent, says Sam. That first building's dealt with. Let's see how Pepper's getting on with Mike's garage. Pepper and Rubble get out the fire extinguisher so they can work on the next fire. And as quick as a flash, the first fire is out in the tower. And then Mike's garage is saved. And that fire is also out. Now on to the next fire. Here, with the help of Bessie, Station Officer Steele is dealing with the next fire. Thank goodness, he says, as that fire is extinguished as well. Bessie may be old, but she's still brilliant. With no men injured and no casualties, moves the ambulance out of the way so Fireman Sam can deal with the shot fire.
Sam jumps out, ready to deal with this next emergency. And soon he has the first of the fires out in the shop. Now it's just the next fire to deal with. This fire is a bit more stubborn, it just doesn't seem to want to go out. But Fireman Sam battles on. Finally, that fire's out as well. Well done, Fireman Sam. Fireman Sam runs over to help Elvis and Tom Thomas, who are still trying to put out the final fire. Actually, in the fire station. Leave this to me, said Fireman Sam. And very soon he's in the thick of it, trying to put out the last fire. <gasps> and he does. Well done, Fireman Sam. Well done, Elvis. And well done, Tom Thomas. Everyone's helped out here from Rubble, Pepper Pig, Nurse Flood and Station Officer Steel. This has been a true team effort and it just shows what you can do when everybody pulls together and works together in such an emergency. The great fire of Pontypandy has been extinguished and no one's been hurt. That's great news. So please like, share and subscribe and come back for a whole lot more here on the MG Tracy Club. Bye bye for now. Goodbye. Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club and today we're going to be taking a look at the Converting Transforming Fireman Sam. So here he is as a robot. Here's the instructions. So let's take him out of the box and have a closer look. This is how we transform Fireman Sam the robot into Fireman Sam Jupiter. So we'll just turn his legs round like that and we'll move up the back part. We'll push his arms in. Then we go. Just fits in there like so. And all we need to do now is just clip it down. And there he is. There's our Fireman Sam transformed into Jupiter. We can push his head down. And there we go. Then we can transform him back by lifting the arms out, turning up and round, and the other arm comes out just like so. We can move the back up, the legs round, spin those around so that he's got feet just there like so put the back down and there's our converted transforming Fireman and Sam robot very cool so then guys if you like Fireman and Sam and if you like toys be sure to like this video and be sure to subscribe to the NG Tracy channel Four boxes will appear. Touch on one of those boxes to continue the Fireman Sand Farm.
Hey guys, this is Tracy here and welcome back to the MG Tracy Club. And today what I wanted to share with you is a Fireman Sam 4-pack Dicky Toys Special. And these are all die-cast metal toys. So first up we have the Fireman Sam helicopter. So it has rotor blades that turn, it has the skids that it lands on here, and also it has a really large window in the front so that the pilots can see where they're going. This is super cool. And next up is Hydrus. Now Hydrus is an amphibious vehicle, it means it can go on land and in water. It's got the space for four passengers, some space at the back for luggage, it's got lights on the top, and of course it's an open top vehicle. That's great. And next we have Jupiter, the water carrier. And next we have Venus. Venus is the Primus Sand water carrier and this is normally driven by firefighter Penny Morris. It has a water cannon on the top, it has the air horns and also it has the flashing blue lights. And I particularly like the wheels. This is awesome! And lastly, I have Jupiter. And this is Fireman Sam's favourite emergency vehicle. It has a ladder and a hose at the back. And it also has the horns and the lights at the front. Let's give these vehicles a try out at the Ponty Pandy Fire Station. It was a bright sunny afternoon in Ponty Pandy and very quiet. Bella Lasagna, she was cooking meatballs in her lovely restaurant. Trevor Evans has taken his bus full of passengers down to the dockside and down to see Ocean Rescue. And Dillis Price and Naughty Norman Price were outside Dillis's lovely shop. Norman was feeling bored again and he was sitting in the trolley. Norman, will you get out of that trolley? said Mrs Price. Oh ma'am, I'm okay. But Norman kept swinging on the trolley. She said, Norman, Norman, will you get out of that trolley? You're going to have an accident. Oh, I'm okay mum. But just as he said that, I'm and Sam came round the corner in Mercury. And the trolley slid off the pavement, straight in front of Mercury. Oh no, they're going to collide. Naughty Norman was flung out of the cart, 
Dillis Price was set into a panic and poor Fireman Sam's Mercury had toppled over. <gasps> but disaster struck. It was punctured. The engine had been punctured and all the petrol was pouring out. And then, oh my goodness me, Mercury burst into flames. Oh no, oh no, what shall I do, says Dillis Price. She was in a right flat, but she pulled herself together and thought, I've got to rescue my Norman. So she pulled Norman out of harm's way and made sure that he was okay. Norman was fine. So Dillis Price quick thinkingly, she went straight into her shop to get the fire extinguisher. Fireman Sam made sure just the other day that Dillis Price had a working fire extinguisher in the shop for any type of emergency. But Dillis was sure pleased that she had it today and so she set up the fire extinguisher. And before you knew it, the flames started to die down. Oh cool, well done ma'am, you really did sort out those flames. Good job, calls Fireman Sam as he pushes Mercury to the right position. Are you okay, says Dillis Price to Fireman Sam. Yes, I'm fine, Dillis, but uh, you don't need to worry about me. You need to worry about your son, Naughty Norman. He really shouldn't be sitting in supermarket trolleys and just playing around. We could have had an enormous disaster, you know, Dillis. I know, Fireman Sam, says Dillis. Right, come on then, Norman. You can come inside with me for the rest of the afternoon and help me with my chores. There's lots of washing up to do. Oh, ma'am, do I have to? Yes, you do, Norman. Come on. And with that, naughty Norman Price went into the shop to help his mum, Dillis. And Fireman Sam tried to start up Mercury, but it was coughing and spluttering and spluttering and coughing. So he thought, I need to take it to the Ponty Pandy garage to make sure that it's safe. And off he went. If you like toys and if you like Fine and Sam, be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel and be sure to like this video. Also, four boxes will appear at the Ouch. end of this video and if you touch on one of those boxes, you can continue with the toy fun. has a brand new Christmas tree. Everybody loves and adores it. It's so huge and the Christmas tree lights are so beautiful. But disaster has struck. Evil Captain Hook has put a spell on the Christmas tree. He's made the light so bright that whoever looks at the Christmas tree will be put under an evil spell. Whoever looks at the Christmas tree, says Captain Hook, will set fire to everything around. Whoa -ho 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 -ho. And with that, he was gone. Bumblebee was just coming along the road and decided to take a moment to look at the amazing Christmas tree at Ocean Rescue. The lights are so beautiful, he thought. And then he started to transform. The evil spell was cast on Bumblebee. <laughs> and Bumblebee was setting fire to everything in sight. First it was the Christmas tree. And then it was Ocean Rescue. 
The Incredible Hulk was nearby and he was watching Captain Hook and he knew exactly what he was up to. So he was on a mission to make Captain Hook give up his evil plan. He was very angry. So Captain Hook agreed to take off the spell off of the Christmas tree. Under the spell of the Christmas tree lights, Bumblebee was going mad. He was setting light to everything. But thank goodness our hero next door, Fireman Sam, arrived just in the nick of time and started to transform. This is cool! Wow, look at Fireman Sam! He's enormous! And Fireman Sam's good friend, the Incredible Hulk, came along to lend a hand. He was fantastic with the Super Soaker. were out. Well done Fireman Sam and well done Incredible Hulk. If you like toys and if you like Fireman Sam be sure to like this video then guys and be sure to subscribe to the MG Tracy channel so that you can see the videos first. Also four boxes will appear. Touch on any of those boxes to continue the toy fun.
SpongeBob and Patrick decided to take the pirate ship out on the ocean waves. The sun was shining, the birds were singing, and they invited two friends along. They invited George, Peppa Pig's younger brother. He'd been enjoying some delicious chocolate and he was up in the crow's nest. He loved being up there so that he could have a fantastic view of the ocean. Spongebob was steering the ship and Patrick loved to let off the cannons. The blast from the cannon made the ship rock and roll. Oh no, Pepper's gone in. So has George. And so has SpongeBob and Patrick. The waves were so strong, it's just made them fall into the ocean. The friends were in deep trouble and they were in deep water especially little George. He's only young. Spongebob, Patrick and Peppa Pig can all swim, but little George can't swim. Luckily, Tom Thomas was patrolling the area and he could see the friends were in real difficulty. Man in risk unit, station control. I'm going to need your help, mate. Why, in koalas? So Tom Thomas contacted Ocean Rescue and spoke to Fireman Sam and the Ocean Rescue alarm was raised. Fireman Sam jumped on Juno and he sped off at top speed to rescue the friends. Peppa Pig was so scared for her little brother, he kept going under the water, but Tom Thomas was there with the rescue basket. George managed to climb into the basket, and so did Peppa Pig. Tom Thomas carefully swooped down and rescued them. Fireman Sam helped Patrick and Spongebob Squarepants onto Station Officer Steele's boat. The boat was rather cramped but he sped off with the friends to Ocean Rescue. The friends were back at Ocean Rescue safe and sound. Station Officer Steele said to the friends, you were so lucky that we were able to save you. You should never go on a ship without a life jacket and proper adult supervision. Now let this be a lesson to you, because it is so dangerous in open water. <laughs> okay. But the friends are all safe and well, so no harm done. So hit that like button then guys, don't forget to share and subscribe and come back again for more fun videos on MG Tracy. Take care and bye for now. Goodbye.
Bye.